Hi, this is Simon from HomeKit News, and today we're looking at a table lamp from Yeelight, known variously as the Star or Staria lamp. We've had this for a few months now, so it's time to give it the once over. Stay tuned. So let's start off as we tend to do with the unboxing. Now here's the lamp in its packaging and as you can see on the front we've got some Chinese text that basically translates to the Yeelight Stardesk Lamp Pro. In the bottom corner we've got the all important HomeKit logo and in the top corner we've got the Yeelight logo. On the front of course we've got the product itself nicely displayed. So enough with the packaging, let's have a look inside. Uh, the first thing you'll see is the manual. Now this is all in Chinese, although you may well get one in English once they officially launch in the US. The lamp, as you can see, is well protected, as is the included power supply. And on the top of the internal packaging, they even present you with a diagram to show you how to unpack it. So here's the lamp, and whilst it looks like a typical lamp, you immediately notice that the shade can be adjusted. The base has a decent amount of weight to it, and aside from the Qi charging pad and the discrete power button, there's not a, a lot else, so it's very minimalist in design. The aforementioned built-in Qi charging pad is rubberized, so you can't really miss it. Now let's have a look at the power supply. So the power supply is suitable for North America as it's a type A plug with a barrel connector on one end but can also be used in countries that use 220 to 240 volts. So onto the initial setup and I originally added this to the Miho map which afterwards allows it to be exposed to HomeKit. However at the time it simply didn't. Now luckily it also appears in the Yeelight app where I was able to proceed with adding it to HomeKit that way which I'll show you how to do now. As this was already added to Mi Home, it was also available in the Yeelight app. So you select the Devices tab at the bottom, then you select the lamp that you've already added, and then select the Settings tab at the top and choose Add to Home. Press Add Now, then proceed as standard for a HomeKit device by first scanning the QR code so that the device can connect to your network and then be added to your HomeKit home. After that you can choose to rename the device, choose the room it's going to be located in and then select whether it's a favourite or not. Moving on to the basic functions of the lamp and for physical interaction all operations are conducted via the multifunction button on the lamp's base. The most basic function is turning the lamp on and off of course and that's done by simply pressing the button once. So whenever you turn the lamp on it'll always return to the last state it was when you last turned it off. Now if I press and hold the button in this instance it will go from 100% cool white to warm white. Here you can see I'm pressing the button and it'll turn off as expected and if I press and hold the button it'll return to the previous state before eventually returning to cool white and if I press it again and hold it it'll return to warm white or another long press and it'll return to 100% at cool white. Now although the lamp has light emitting from both the top and the bottom of the lampshade they do share the same light source so they work as one essentially and can't be controlled separately so the colour temperature and brightness will be the same for the top and the bottom. So now that we've established the basic controls for the lamp let's have a look at some of the basic specifications. So the lamp has a maximum of 350 lumens output, a working temperature of minus 10 to plus 40 degrees Celsius. It can produce cool and warm whites. For connection it uses 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. The light source uses around 6 watts for its 25 LEDs and something we'll get to shortly it has a wireless charging pad but only for the Pro model. As you've already seen the lampshade can be adjusted from between 0 and 30 degrees. For wireless charging the charger should work with any Qi compatible device although only the Pro model has the charger. The charging pad can detect when non-wireless devices are placed on the pad and unfortunately charging is limited to 5 watts when it comes to iPhones. Moving on to lighting, now in the Mi Home, Yeelight and Apple Home apps you can adjust the colour temperature and the brightness to your own preferences with any number of automations to achieve the adjustments if you wish. One extra lighting function the lamp does have is what is called moon or moonlight mode. Now this mode essentially is a very low level night light which allows the lamp to achieve even lower brightness levels for a really functional night light effect. 
Ok so let's finally wrap up with a look at the pros and cons of this new lamp. First of all the built in Qi charger does save space if you need a wireless charger. Of course if you don't require a charger then you can just buy the standard model. The moon mode in the lamp is great as it's a true night light with very low light levels and the lampshade itself is adjustable unlike a real lampshade. Onto the cons and the Qi charger is limited to only 5 watts for compatible iPhones. The moon mode is not available in HomeKit so you have to control that in the other two apps. And finally the two lighting sections are not individually controllable which is a shame. That's just our overview of the new Yeelite Desk Lamp Pro but if you want a more detailed review of the product head over to homekitnews.com. <laughs>